friends, let me explain you the framework of Lean Operational Excellence Model. It's a model which rests on four pillars, the framework on which the organizations can continually improve and sustain. It works across the value chain right from suppliers to in-house operations up to customers, distribution and logistics, the entire value chain. There are basically five pillars. The, the five pillars are total flow management, known as TFM, total productive maintenance, known as TPM, total quality management, okay, that's known as TQM, total service management, that is PSM, and finally, total human management, that is THM. Total flow management, TFM, it ensures that material flow and information flow are synchronized so that the organization has a healthy cash flow. Under this pillar, the tools are 5S, value stream mapping, flow layout, cellular layout, etc. That means how the organization and the processes are designed and they function in the organization. Once the processes are designed, it is very important that the equipments or the machines being used are healthy and they perform as per requirement and that is take, uh, taken care of under the second pillar which is known as total productive maintenance. So when you maintain, you get more productivity as required. Uh, the tools under, the, the, under TPM are autonomous maintenance, we have uh, preventive maintenance, etc. Now once the plant is designed under TFM and the machines are performing under TPM, it is very important to get the desired quality. So we have the third pillar which is known as Total Quality Management or TQM in short. The tools under this are Problem Solving, Six Sigma, Lean Six Sigma and many more. The machines are kept properly, they are performing under TPM, we are getting the right quality but now it's very important for the non-manufacturing processes to support the main structure. So we have to apply lean in accounts, finance, purchase, distribution, logistics, inventories, space management and that is why is the fourth pillar which is known as total service management, mainly focusing on information. So machines are placed well under TFM, TPM they are being maintained, TQM they are being uh, monitored for quality, we have total service management supporting them for the information required, the back offices and now it's very important as to who's going to maintain and sustain these four pillars. So we have total human management where people need to get involved, it is beyond HR. We need to work on organization design, organization structure, lean KPIs, rewards and recognitions and more important is we need to counsel them to create a positive mindset, to create a positive mindset for growth and profitability. So this entire lean model can be applied across the value chain at mini level, uh, macro level or it can be at uh, any level desired depending on the person who is, who is using this model. There are five pillars and in this five pillars there are different tools. There are seven mudas okay, and seven mudas have, can be identified and eliminated with the help of these pillars and tools and there are basic nine steps for creating world class organization. So just remember the simple three numbers 579, just remember 579, 5 pillars, 7 mudas and 9 steps for creating world class organizations through lean operational excellence. Thank you.